Hello again viewers and greetings fellow space travelers. This is Storm of Night and welcome to episode 3 of my Terraria Let's Play. Uh, I decided to go ahead and start working on setting up my uh, my mine situation uh, because one of my objectives for today is to get at least a full set of copper armor and hopefully upgrade at least my pickaxe to an iron pickaxe because with the copper tools that you start with uh, even though you can place blocks uh, as far away as that torch is you can't actually dig without being up a little higher I can target this with my axe from there but if I'm down here I can't reach it uh, so Anything above copper and you have uh, farther reach, but with the copper, with the default items, it's, uh, it's a lot more limiting, I will say that. But, uh, I wanted to show how I set up my mine, and the first thing that I do is I just start with a vertical shaft, uh, just punch a hole in my floor, and I dig down six blocks... Put a platform, six, six, and every uh, sixth block that I dig down, or rather every seventh one, uh, one two, no, it's every sixth one, I uh, place a platform, and uh, I believe, as far as I can tell, I'm, I guess, about... 20-ish blocks above the actual yeah. ground level. Yeah. You shut up up there. I'm trying to record. No, you can't get in. It's not a blood moon. Uh, anyway, if uh, I were to just start digging straight across from here, I'm going to encounter a whole lot of surface water and a lot of other surface features. Oh, good. It's morning. Uh, so I'm going to try to dig down a little bit farther and start my mine shaft that way. Uh, now, eventually, I'm not going to need these platforms per se, but they're exactly spaced enough apart that I can, without any accessories, I can jump from one to the next, and that's why I place them that distance apart specifically. But uh, I'm going to get down to the digging and hopefully get some materials enough to uh, get the, uh, the things I need for this episode. And uh, then I'm going to start working on expanding the uh, apartments up above as well as make a, a, a bigger workshop for here for when I uh, want to start processing things. I can craft some stuff, but not everything yet. So, I'm going to get to digging, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I just got back from a little bit of mining, not much. Uh, not too far off to the left over there, I found a chest that had some iron ingots, or some iron bars, or whatever they're called, in it. And uh, I now have an iron pickaxe, but I wanted you guys to see this. If I'm using my copper pickaxe, which is what I have highlighted right now, I can dig four blocks away and that's it. But if I switch over to my iron pickaxe, not only can I reach farther, but it also digs faster. So uh, now I can dig as far away as I can reach. And I'm going to go ahead and offload some of this stuff because I don't really need it right now which I don't know why I had the wood wall but anyway uh, I'm going to get back to my digging and hopefully get some more materials up so I can uh, continue on with things so I will be back and in the meantime Hopefully get enough copper to uh, finish off my set. So I'll talk to you in a bit. All right, guys, I am back and I have 
killed a zombie just now and gotten my first piece of equipment, my first uh, accessory. It is a shackle. All shackles add one defense. This one, this one's called the uh, fleeting shackle, and it adds plus two percent to movement speed. The equipment goes in those slots there, and I'll show you that more closely here in a moment. After I get rid of my fan base. All right. The shackle and any other accessory you pick up will go in any of these five slots. You can have up to five shackles at once. And so now with the fleeting shackle added, I have two defense instead of just the one offered by my, uh, my helmet. Also, you'll notice I've gotten a little bit more copper. Not much, but some. But uh, I just wanted to show you th the uh, first accessory and uh, let you guys know what it is and what it does. And I'm going to get back to digging in the dark. So I will be right back. Okay, guys. I am back and... I am down in my mine shaft and I have reached a point where I can proceed no further in this direction because this substance here, this purplish, I guess, gr purplish grayish kind of rock is called ebon stone and it signifies along with the music that you might be able to sort of hear that I am near the Corruption. Technically, with this much ebon stone on the screen, I'm in the corruption. So, uh, what that means is, since I can't go any farther this way, and from the my uh, spawn point way back in this direction, uh, if I go too far to the right, actually not too far to the right, uh, I will encounter another corruption. So, instead of trying to press in the opposite direction to try to find some more resources which I haven't really gotten a whole lot of either what I'm going to have to do is dig down and I just want you guys to get an idea of how long this uh, tunnel is this part of the mine shaft so I'm going to record me walking back to the center point and then I'm going to show you what I do to set up for the next layer. Uh, and it does come into play with the amount of space that I put between each uh, platform for going up and down. And also, uh, it keeps into mind this tunnel that I have already dug. Uh, and I guess... Uh, explanation while I'm still walking is that once an enemy or once a certain quantity of enemies have spawned and are on the screen with you more will not spawn if there is say say if I'm right here and off to the right there isn't a big hole and, and it, there isn't the above ground nearby it's all dirt any mobs that are going to spawn are going to spawn on the level with me uh, on, on this uh, level of dirt off screen to the left and to the right and they're going to come in towards the middle. So in order to give mobs somewhere to spawn that isn't on the level with me what I'm going to do is keep this area on the screen. The way I go about doing that, one, two, three, hmm, there, and then I'll put one here, dig that out, that's it, all right, and I'll get some light going on in here, ooh, look at all that. A bunch of urns. And another one. And it's dark. Oh, and when you're underwater, glow sticks. 
which you can get from urns, from killing some mobs, or you can craft them. But I want to do this one, two, three, four platform. One, two, three, platform, and then one more. One, two, three, platform. All right. Oh, and that water's going to be a problem. Can I jump up there now? Yes. All right. Now, what I generally do for this, it seems like I may be off by one. Let's see here. I'll put a platform there. Nope, can't reach it. Something seems off. Hold on, let's do some counting. Is that then down by three? That can't be right. Huh. But I guess it is. All right, whatever. I don't want two torches. All right. Anyway, sorry about that. I had a little bit of a confusion. <coughs> One of the first things that I do when I'm done with a floor is I block it off so those things can't get to me. Next thing, I guess I'll do that, is keeping in mind that this is still on my screen. I'm going to start the next layer right here. What that means is as I'm going off to the left, all the stuff where the demon eye and the slime are, all that space is going to be a place for mobs to be able to spawn while I'm digging. That way, as I'm down here, not nearly as many things will be spawning with me. So that means I can focus on digging rather than combat all the time because I do get assailed by a lot of different stuff while I'm fighting, or while I'm digging. But uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. And then what I do is I continue off in the same direction as my existing uh, end for the, uh, the previous tunnel uh, until it becomes untenable to keep continuing in that direction. Then I just keep hopping down until I get enough of the resources what, that I'm going after. Right now it's copper and iron, which I have some copper pants and I might, while I'm back here, have enough to make myself some copper. Ooh, hold on. Fallen star. I might have enough to make myself some... Whoops, some copper breastplate. Let's see here. Not even close. Oh well. Anyway, I'm going to get back to what I was doing before. And uh, if anything interesting pops up, I will start recording again. So I will see you soon. Okay guys, I figure I'll go ahead and record a little bit more too. As you can see up above me, the uh, zombies are wandering off the screen now, but all the zombies, and I had a couple demon eyes up there too, were all up on that level. Nothing was down here with me. So that's part of the reason why I do that, is so that everything spawns up there and everything on my level just leaves me alone. The other thing I wanted to record, and the other reason, uh, was in this little area here, it was just this enclosed 
uh, pseudo kidney bean sort of cave shape thing. And instead of just dropping down to the bottom of it and coming back up, I built a bridge all the way across. And the reason for that, you'll notice that I left some holes in it, one wide so that I don't fall in. And the reason is, if I farther down the way come across some water that I'm going to have to tunnel through, this makes it so the tunnel that I'm actually in right now doesn't fill up nearly as much, if at all, with the water. Instead, it catches in these little pockets down here. So it's a great way to avoid drowning uh, and also to just avoid uh, certain mobs from spawning at your level anyway. Because uh, as you get farther down, there are some mobs that are very annoying that spawn just in water. But I'm going to continue digging, and if I think of something else I wanted to mention, or something else comes up, I will be sure to record again. So, see you soon. Okay guys, I'm back from my uh, second layer of the mine. I dug it all the way over to the corruption, and I now have more than 25 bars of copper, so I have enough to make some copper chainmail. And that was my next objective here because if I have the uh, the greaves, the, the foot gear on, I get one defense. Same with the uh, helmet. And if I put on the breastplate, the chainmail, it adds two defense. So that's one, two, three, four, and then one more from my... Uh, shackle here but if I put them all on instead of six it says seven the reason for this is when you have an entire set combined like for instance in this case all copper you get what's called a set bonus and the set bonus is two more defense so instead of five rather, instead of six, I, I said six for some reason, instead of five defense like it would be, now it's seven. So it is beneficial to have a full set of the same item. Just wanted you guys to see me get that and all that. Also, um, I guess while I'm doing this, if I pull this off, you can see on my character here, I'm wearing my, my uh, black shirt, but if I put it on the social slot, it still looks like I'm wearing it. That's because whatever you have over in the social slot appears to be worn, but you don't get any of the effects of it. It says no stats will be gained, and if I take my mouse away, you can see I'm back down to three defense instead of seven like it would be if it was over here. So... You can carry twice as much armor uh, on you, but the, whatever you put in the social slot is just for looks. But I'm going to get back to digging because there's still a few more things I want to try to take care of before the end of this episode, if at all possible. Uh, and uh, hopefully by the time I get them, I'll have enough iron to maybe even make a uh, full set of iron armor. But we will see. So I will cut here and I will be right back. Okay guys, I figured I would show you how I uh, deal with these large bodies of water. Well, any size body of water that I have to go through. Uh, in order to prevent all the water that's above me from flooding the walkway that I'm in, I block it off. Then all I have to do is dig out here and just deal with the water that's in that little enclosed area. Uh, it's a great way to go through. Now, it doesn't work for lava when you get farther down uh, because you can't place uh, blocks in lava. Uh, not blocks or torches or anything like that. Uh, so you can only do that trick with water, but it works fantastically. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're uh, wanting to make some sort of uh, horizontal 
area that's going to go through water, you can actually just block it off and prevent it from coming down. But also, as you can see, I have lots of bad guys up above me, but nothing down here with me, which is awesome. And that section is working perfectly for what it needs to do. Anyway, I'm going to get back to my digging, and I will uh, start recording again if I can think of something else I want to talk about. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and there's a couple things I wanted to do. First off, I now have all the uh, materials for the full set of iron armor, so I'm going to go from 7 defense to 10 defense. Not much, but it's a start. Uh, the other thing I wanted to point out, I have with me my piggy bank that I bought. That's for one gold from that shop, that, that merchant guy. And I have a second one here, and I wanted to point this out. If I access this and put something in here like that, then I take my piggy bank and put it there. Then I access that. It's got the same inventory, so you can basically have as many of these around as you want and access them from wherever, including the one that you carry with you. So um, you don't have to worry about if you accidentally lose it. As long as you have one somewhere, you have access to everything that was in it. So that's something. But uh, I'm not quite done with everything that I wanted to take care of in this episode. So I'm going to get back down there and hopefully find a couple of the things that I was wanting to show. Uh, but if I can't in any semblance of reasonable amount of time, then I may just go ahead and end the episode uh, before I find it and just take care of that on the next one. But at any rate, I will be right back. Alright guys, uh, I figure since this is the first time I've encountered it, I'm, it merits actual mentioning. This right here, this shiny whitish ore, is silver ore. And it is the next step above uh, iron and is very useful in making a new set of armor as well as tools and uh, a few other knickknacks. So. Uh, I'm going to, at this level, probably start encountering a lot more of it. I still have not found what I'm looking for. Yes, that's probably the exact song name. But, uh, anyway, I am going to continue this row here and maybe one more. And if I still haven't found it, then I'm just going to start looking for it next episode and, and not worry about it this go-round. But anyway, whatever the case may be, I will be right back. Alright guys, I am now down here in the last level that I'm going to be doing for this episode. And I wanted to point something out. Uh, I am at the border of two different layers. This, where I've been up until now, has been what's called the surface and one of the distinctions of the surface from all the layers underneath it is if I have a block here, uh, like the dirt block in my inventory, and I reach out here, I can just place it out in the middle of nowhere. Whereas down here, the only way to do it is to connect it to another block. So it is a little bit more work to... Uh, get blocks where you want them but other than that and some mobs there's not really a whole lot of a difference between what I've been doing up till now and from here on out but I just wanted to show the difference between that and that so I'm going to get back to what I was doing and I will be right back well guys the uh most part of what I was trying to take care of this episode, uh, I, I did get done. I got some fresh armor, got the full set of copper and iron now. However, some of the things that I was looking for, I, I just couldn't find. So I'm going to have to wait until next episode. However, 
Uh, you probably saw it there in my inventory. I have 12 silver bars, and that's enough. Get me a new silver pickaxe. Oh, wow. An outstanding silver pickaxe. It's legendary. Look at all those modifications. I'm happy with that. All right. Anyway, uh, but instead of continuing on with my search for what I was looking for on this episode, I'm going to just have to take care of it on the next go-round. So, after I make a new hammer here, which is somewhere, there we go, so I can reach farther. I am going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, leave those in the comment section below and I will get back to you as quick as possible. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. I do appreciate it. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you can catch my next stuff when it comes out. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.